The native NetSuite UI exposes the custom price level. If you're working with Cloud Extend Excel for NetSuite, that's not actually exposed via web services. So you can see here, there's no custom price level. You can get around that very easily just by putting it two left brackets, a negative one, and then two right brackets. So we'll go ahead and update all this pricing to a custom price level, and then we'll push some price changes up to NetSuite. We'll make up some numbers for now. We'll go ahead and click on update. We'll choose all rows and click on insert update. And then we'll flip over to NetSuite and we'll refresh the sales order and see if we've now got custom pricing set for each one of those fields. So that's all there is to it. Just make sure that if you want to set a custom price for an item, go ahead and use the double left, negative one, double right brackets. Thanks for watching.